So we're about to embark on the journey out west, where we're going to have to go through some trials, some tribulations, and a couple of hundred tests, all so that we can claim immortality so we can live on. That's going to be the story of the game called Black Myth Wukong. Bars. Yo, what you know, it's your boy, One Hero, back today with three things that I liked about the upcoming game called Black Myth Wukong. Number one, when it comes to the combat, really quickly, three stances. That's going to help you out when you have those bosses or those enemies that are going to be like, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? No, I don't want you to do that. You're not going to do that. Then you got to find a way to break down their guard, break down their shields to get in there and do so. So I'm going to assume it's going to work the same as like in Ghost of Tsushima. Certain stances broke out certain combat abilities where you could then defeat that opponent. The variety of spells, yeah, you're going to have your buffs, your debuffs, where you can increase your damage, increase your health, decrease their damage because you don't want to be out there getting bopped over the head again and again when you're trying to progress through the game. And then the transformation looks pretty dope as well because you can go from Sun Wukong normal to the longer hair, like God mode type of Sun Wukong, it looks like almost as you're trying to power back up to claim your immortality and then also to a, a little bitty bug where you can just cruise along just flying along hoping nobody sees you until you get whacked out of the sky or sneak up on somebody and you come out of it with your bow staff and then you bock them on the back of the head and now they're dead drop dead fred easy peasy let me squeeze on to the next one number two is going to have to be variety i like the fact that they said it's going to be over 160 enemies and over 80 plus bosses now that is dope alone because you're going to be traveling through this world in this semi-open world where you can also see what's out there and find these different hidden bosses potentially, hidden enemies. But having a variety is going to be a lot of a challenge for me because I like when you have a game that doesn't have the same combat over and over again. I know sometimes with how games are, that's how it has to be. But other games where you would really like to have that extra push and challenge, that's why I enjoy myself playing Elden Ring and why I think Elden Ring is a good example of a Soulsborne game that is generational and how all of the other games in that same genre really do push you to have to just say you can't just have a cakewalk with who you're going to be facing and fighting all the time and then number three for me is going to be the story i love the fact that it has multiple endings maybe some secret ones i don't know but i love the fact that it could be where you are all about immortality and it's all about you and nothing else that could be the bad ending one where you're trying to chase down the bow like it had in some movies or some of the other stories or it could be just in general you're trying to save the world who knows right i don't know how the story is going to pan out but i'm really excited for that alone and they're going to give you new game plus at launch so once you sweat through the entire thing and pull your soul out to beat the game first you can go right back in and be a glutton of punishment and fight everything at 10 times the higher level or whatever the new game plus levels will be and then i like that also they're going to lower the bar of entry for those noobs like myself that aren't familiar with soulsborne games or are still new to them but they can play it because they said it will not be as difficult as certain souls like games that is a w look y'all got y'all new game plus no fuss get on the back of the bus and keep it moving while the rest of us try to get on the bus and get some time in to play the game and that's all i got for black myth wukong that was that was one hero back today with three things that i liked about it if you like this series you like this content like comment subscribe you're more than welcome to jump on and enjoy the ride i appreciate y'all as always be great be you and fly easy till next time heroes peace